Welcome back to Monetized History. I'm Daniel, and today we're going to be talking about the presidency of John F. Kennedy and the U.S. half-dollar coin. Kennedy won the 1960 presidential election in a narrow victory over Vice President Richard Nixon. In January 1961, he was inaugurated as the 35th President of the United States. His inaugural speech may be the most famous in American history. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. His approach to foreign policy was marked by his confrontations with Cuba, the Soviet Union, and communism in general. In 1961, he authorized a failed mission to oust Cuban dictator Fidel Castro. Later that year, he oversaw a massive military buildup in Europe to protect NATO interests in West Berlin. And in 1962, tensions came to a head with the Cuban Missile Crisis. Within the past week, unmistakable evidence has established the fact that a series of offensive missile sites is now in preparation on that imprisoned island. The centerpiece of Kennedy's domestic agenda was the New Frontier Program. The overall goal of the program was to alleviate and eliminate poverty. Although he was able to have some legislation passed, his lack of congressional allies and his support of civil rights initiatives prevented the program from being fully implemented. Kennedy struggled with balancing his beliefs in the civil rights movement and his desire to pass meaningful legislation. Segregation was still the general rule of the South, and any civil rights legislation would jeopardize all of the bills he wanted to push through Congress. The segregationists forced his hand when Kennedy was forced to mobilize the army twice to enforce desegregation orders when Southern governors agitated for violent resistance. In June 1963, he gave a landmark speech that would ultimately lead to the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This nation was founded by men of many nations and backgrounds. It was founded on the principle that all men are created equal, and that the rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. President Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, Texas on November 22, 1963. Within mere hours, the Mint began preparing to make a coin featuring his likeness to honor his presidency. They were prepared to feature him on either the quarter, half dollar, or dollar coins. By the 27th, they had settled on the half dollar based on the recommendation of the president's wife, Jacqueline Kennedy. The Mint wanted to begin striking the coins in January 1964, so designs that were already in use on Kennedy's presidential medals were chosen for the coin. For the obverse, Chief Engraver Gilroy Roberts' profile of Kennedy from the Presidential Series Medal was chosen. For the reverse, Frank Gasparro's design of the Presidential Seal from the John F. Kennedy Appreciation Medal was used. Work on the coin moved fast, and four months after Kennedy's death, the new half dollar was made available to the public. They were so popular, they sold out in one day despite rationing by banks. Because of this demand and the widespread hoarding that occurred, the Mint increased their original planned output from 91 million coins to over 400 million coins. And now for the trivia. Are you ready? Frank Gasparro designed the reverse of the Kennedy half dollar. But what is his most famous coin design? If you think you know, let me know on Twitter or in the comments. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Did you learn anything new about Kennedy or the half dollar? If so, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.